So now let's move on to strengthening. What are we going to do? First we want to stretch him. Now we want to strengthen him. So we're going to start with the very basic, what we call lateral tail pulls. And this is where you're going to... Now this horse, I'm going to do him bilaterally because I know he's had problems bilaterally in the past. But again, more of his problems on the left. But So I'm going to do both sides with this horse. So what I'm going to do is stand at 90 degree angle from the horse. And I can, I can do this two ways. I can do a tail pull, or you can just put your hand on their dock and just shift their weight. You see the muscles contracting there? That's more work on me. So to make it easy on me, I just grab his nice tail here, give a pull, and I just want to see him contract. Now the, sometimes the problem is the horse doesn't quite know what you're asking, and, they want, and they're so willing beasts, they think you just, they want you to move, for, they want to move for you. So now I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's wonderful. So he does tolerate ten seconds. And then I can go on and keep going. What I want to know for my baseline, for assessment purposes, is how many of these is he going to tolerate the first time I do this. <laughs> like I said in the lecture, I always want you to be careful not to get kicked by the horse, but usually if you put weight on the limb that's closest to you, you're going to resist getting kicked. Often too, it helps. Um, Fran, do you have some, just some hay? And you could just give them for a minute. If you, the horses, like I said, you know, they're such good beasts. And we are always demanding things of them. They don't always know what you want from this but they do get it if you keep working on it.